These candles. They make me want to go out and buy a leather wing bag chair to sit in front of a fireplace in my personal library, full of first edition books, lounging in my cashmere robe with some aged whiskey. Very descriptive, but that's exactly how I feel when I'm burning candles from the maker. Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. In this case, a dimly lit library. Today, let's discuss a couple candles from The Maker, the brand that gives my space this great vintage feeling. The Maker isn't technically a candle brand per se. It's actually a luxury hotel located downtown Hudson, upstate New York. The entire ethos of The Maker is to provide a true bespoke experience for anyone who stays or visit. This hotel features the work from Hudson Valley craftsmen and global artists. It has one-of-a-kind vintage furniture pieces and an extensive collection of art that truly showcases the work of different makers around the world. I wish I could have snuck away for a weekend to visit this hotel to really get a feel for it because the entire feeling and the mood from the styling of this hotel looks incredible. The cafe being a tribute to the best coffee houses around the world. A glass conservatory full of greenery that serves as a restaurant. The lounge, that's a restored 19th century carriage house. And the juice bar that promotes holistic wellness. This is the type of inspiration and styling I'm personally drawn to. I love the vintage aspects of this hotel. We'll definitely implement a few things into the styling of my own space. If I ever have a store of some type, just know. It'll be like walking into a completely different world. If you've ever been to this hotel, please let me know your experience. I really want to know if it's exactly how it's pictured. Oh, I forgot the best part. Now, what's a hotel without rooms? There are only 11 rooms in the maker and each one is meticulously crafted with a unique story to tell. I'm not going to go into the details of each one, but as you could imagine, the mood and feel is a more elevated experience from the more communal spaces of the hotel. Make it in more personal and bespoke with that very vintage eclectic styling with some one of a kind vintage pieces. The maker also happens to sell fragrances and candles that carry the same feeling as the hotel. After trying these candles, I have to pick up a couple fragrances to see what they have to offer. Fun fact about the candles is that each scent is based on different spaces of the hotel. The vessels of the candles has this vintage inspired ribbed glass. These vessels look really amazing when there are sun rays coming from an open window shining against the glass and at night seeing the burning flame through the glass. Apparently, the ribbed glass is a signature look seen throughout the hotel, from the glassware to the lighting fixtures. The detail on the inside of the vessel with the maker's name is a nice touch as well. The design and quality of these vessels, along with the scent, makes it feel like I'm transported to the hotel or staying in one of the rooms. Take the writer candle for instance. It's inspired by the writer's studio suite. The focus of this room and scent is to express the curiosity of the author or writer. This room is supposed to stimulate inspiration for a writer. It's filled with a library of different books, personal mementos of travel, and curio objects. From the pictures, it looks like a very warm, comfortable space to be in. I would probably be too busy to write anything because I'd just be taken in the moment while curiously looking through everything. I guess that's the purpose, right? And when it comes to the scent of the writer candle, I can say it really provides much of how this room is described to be. Now, let me ask you something. When you think of an author writing the next New York Times bestseller, well, it seems like anyone that puts out a book is a New York Times bestseller. But when you think of writing, what scent or notes do you picture your space having? When I sit down to write, I want to be immersed into my work. I want to be inspired and I found by smelling a scent that has a fresh green essence really helps with getting my thoughts out, like now. With the writer candle, this scent carries a very prominent woody fig scent to it. The vibrancy of fig is very noticeable in scents and can sometimes be overpowering. But in this candle, the maker does a great job at making sure the woodiness plays just as big of a role as the fig does by adding the necessary warmth and woodiness. The scent has top notes of fig, cumin, and cotton with heart notes of ink, orris, and carrot seed with the warm base of sandalwood, transparent papyrus, and amber. The fig in this, it's very earthy green. Think of the smell of a fig tree in damp, earthy soil. Very natural smelling. And with those heavy woodsy notes of sandalwood, papyrus, and cumin, they do a really good job at taming down the fig, making sure this doesn't turn into a very heavy, vibrant fig scent. I think this is beautifully done. Like I said, very earthy like damp soil with some warmth from the woodiness and that bright touch of fig. 
This is such a good representation of a warm fig. As you can see, I've been burning this quite a bit over the past couple weeks or so. The cold throw is on a moderate side, not the strongest, but I do pick up a bright fig when I'm close by. The hot throw provides a good strong throw. It really warms up the space with a good woody fig scent. Great for a medium to large size space any time of day or when you need one of those grounding moments to find inspiration. Something I noticed with the scent from the hot throw is that it can come off as a more dry earthy fig as opposed to the more damp soil earthy fig like I get with the cold throw. Nothing too noticeable with the major difference, but I do enjoy it. These candles are also 100% soy wax with a clean burn. I'm happy to see good strong performance coming from soy wax. The second candle I received was the Spiritus candle, which evoked the soul of the Maker Hotel with spices and woods. This one is my favorite out of these two that I want to make last as long as possible. It has a very unique blend of notes that I naturally gravitate towards. It's more of a brighter woody spicy scent for me, but I also get some hints at a lightly sweet undertone on cold. Quite a bit going on within this scent with top notes of eucalyptus, ginger, and frankincense, with heart notes of violet, cannabis flower, and palo santo, with the base of papyrus, vanilla bean, and white cedar wood. I have to say, I'm kind of surprised I'm not picking up more of the eucalyptus in this. Eucalyptus is more of a stimulating note when I see it in the scent, but I'm not getting that in this. I'm mostly getting those heavier notes of ginger and frankincense mixed very well with the palo santo, making this a very polarizing scent. I'm really starting to love ginger as a scent note. It's a fresh, pungent note that comes off a little citrus to me. When I see ginger paired with heavy woods or any form of vanilla, I know more than likely it's going to be a good scent most of the time. Mise en actually has a great fragrance that I enjoy with ginger. It's called Eau de Gigembre. I think that's how you pronounce it. Incredible fragrance with a prominent ginger smell to it. The Spiritus Candle isn't as gingery, but it still has a great uniqueness that I really enjoy. The scent comes off to me as a more linear scent profile. I really pick up the full characteristic of the scent straight from the cold throw, from the top to the base notes. This is the scent that gives me the strong feeling of being in a warm, comfortable vintage setting with my cashmere robe. I guess I'm describing the Maker Hotel. From what I see from pictures, this scent really captures the essence of how it feels to really be there walking throughout the hotel. If those pictures had a smell, it would be this candle for sure. The cold throw spirit is, is moderate. I wish it was on the stronger side to pick up more of the woodiness, but no worries because the hot throw transforms with an expected strong hot throw. When burning, the space is engulfed into this deep woody and spicy scent personality. Still no eucalyptus and that subtle sweet undertone has faded a little more into the background. The woods and spices is what I mostly get from the hot throw. Incredible polarizing scent. I've burned this throughout different times of the day and found this is a great scent to warm up with. So maybe on one of those cool days would make this a great burn. These are impressive candles with top tier quality. Let me know your thoughts on the maker. I really want to know if anyone ever visited this hotel. Maybe the next time I'm in New York, I'll pay a visit and I'll be sure to bring my cashmere robe.